this morning in your money. Retirement is certainly a big milestone, and we want to help you get there stress-free. Here now to help, as usual, is our friend Jeffrey Massey from Massey & Associates, who is also a veteran here on this Veterans Day morning. Who's that young man right there? <laughs> Come on! <laughs> All right, where, Take where us did, back, Jeffrey. <laughs> wow, that was when I had volunteered for the U.S. Army. Yeah, back when Vietnam, the draft had ended, Vietnam was still going on, and I volunteered to, uh, to join the Army, and does that it, was when I was 19 years old. What does it mean to you <laughs> on a day like today? Does it, it you bring know, it's, it back? It's, it's always a wonderful feeling. You know, I did four years active duty. <clears throat> then I was out for a while, went into the National Guard. Spent a few years there as an officer. It's a lot more fun as an officer than an enlisted guy. I have to say that. Right. Uh, but it, you know, I was proud to serve. Yeah, yeah I was proud well, to serve. Well, uh, on behalf of the Roadshow, we certainly thank you uh, for your service, well, and it's you. always a pleasure thank to welcome you. you here today. Let's get to some of the I'll topics. I'll have to talk to Denise about that. One. <laughs> <laughs> uh, a lot of strings are pulled to make that happen. Surprise! Uh, but let's get right to it. Uh, you mentioned an article that you read recently. We were chatting about this, published in uh, Psychology Today, and there's a, a quote here: "Worry is like blood pressure." You need a certain level to live, but too much can kill you. So this is so very true. And we think about the worry that's associated with retirement planning. Kind of how does that transition into what, what we experience here? Well, you know, worrying a little bit is okay. You know, excessive worry, well, then that's, that's the real issue, kind of like the blood pressure. Uh, too much will kill you. That's why they call it the silent killer. Right. But a little bit of worry at least gets you to pay a little bit of attention as to what's coming in the future relative to your retirement. Anything that can kind of guide us to uh, down that path of, hey, we need to pay some attention to this because it's important to our livelihood. Yeah, I think one of the, the bigger issues that people have is, you know, do I have enough money to retire? Like, am I ready? Um, and then, will I have enough income, you know, to last me throughout my retirement? And that's our specialty. Right. And, you know, I write about it in the book as well because it's the number one concern, survey after survey. You know, people are concerned about running out of money in retirement. And we hear that expression all the time, oh, this kept me up at night, that kept me up at night. These are the big questions that people really struggle with. And you found that in all of your yeah. decades of doing this. Exactly right. Yeah, three decades worth of uh, experience in that book there. So, you know, it was a labor of love, but it was it was a labor, I will say, but it was um, it was it's great information in the book. Do you find that in general, have you learned that people uh, uh, on the whole are truly overwhelmed by thinking of the future just in general? So therefore, as it pertains to their finances, certainly they're going to have some fear and perhaps trepidation as well. Uh, <clears throat> there is a certain amount of that, and um, I think procrastination happens. You know, like the bumper sticker says, stuff happens. <laughs> well, procrastination happens. So better to deal with the what-ifs today than the what now in the future. Right. You know, and that's the big concern. At the end of the day, though, I mean, this book, your work has helped so many people. It's put them on the correct path. I mean, that must give you such a great sense of satisfaction overall. You know, it's humbling, and the feedback we get from the book is... is it's just very encouraging. People say, hey, you know, I'm not a financial person, but I understand the way you read about things, the way you wrote about things, that you did it in a simple manner. Well, it's a terrific guide. It really breaks everything down in a very uh, rudimentary and readable way, and uh, people should check it out. And thank you, as always, for joining yeah. us. Thank you very and much. And again, thank you for that service. All Appreciate right, it. if you guys would like to review past Your Money segments from Jeffrey, of course, we'll have them all posted, including today's at roadshow.com.